Hi, in this talk, I'll be looking at how we've gained an understanding of the Morris Federation's online community, and in particular, how easily found resources are using Google, and how we might make resources even more easier to find. So over the past um, uh, few, few months, we've been surveying the community, so in particular use of social media, but relevant to this talk are more recent surveys about websites, Google coverage and PageRank, which I will explain. The approach used, well, which you can all use, is to simply type in Google site colon and then your website domain name. We validate it with in URL colon and the same which anyone can use. Here's an example for the Morris Fed website. Type it in, initially it says something like 925 results, which means Google thinks there are 925 pages on that domain. To check this, go down to the bottom and you click on the last one and keep on going forward and forward and forwards. It's 27 pages and then you might see a message which says something like loads of these pages seem to be the same. This was the team finder um, and so you might repeat it to include them all and eventually you'll get a number. In our case the number went down probably because it was just counting the team finder entries. There are about 260 team finder profiles so it's not included everything, but we've got about 900 um, there. So this was the methodology. I did this for all 330 about websites that Morris Federation teams have. Some of them aren't really covered by this for various technical reasons. But what we see is that about 47 have zero or one pages indexed, which probably indicates some technical problems with the configuration. Um, the most have between 2 and 10, and the mean is about 15, but that might be skewed by the ones well over here with over 50 pages. But this gives us an indication of what the Morris Federation's web community is like. Um, there might be some errors, but, but that's given us a, a picture. And where we spotted some errors, this indicates areas in which the web, uh, which, in which the uh, Morris teams should check. So do it for yourself. Why should you bother? Well, to be honest, if you're looking at advertising, you want your pages to be found in Google. And remember the Jack Worth survey found that online use of online technologies didn't really work. And this might be a reason why. But being on Google is only part of it part of the challenge. If you have a page in Google, but it's on page 10 of the results, nobody will ever find it. So you need to understand Google. So very simplified. If a page has lots of links to it, it's likely to be important. If a page that ha has links to it from important sides, it's likely to be important. And the bad guys know this and they try and spam it using dodgy techniques, which is known as black hat SEO. And I'll be talking about white hat or legitimate SEO, where SEO stands for search engine optimization, about getting found on search engines. So PageRank is important. There's a tool called the Open PageRank tool, Google it. You can go there. And what I did was I pasted the 300 odd um, Morris Fed team websites into this tool to get some values. But to explain these values, you really need to understand about logarithmic scales. So a question, if you've got a scale, as the page rank has a one to 10, how close do you think two and four will be? You might think, oh, well, they're fairly close. Could do better, but for the fairly close. But how close are 10 squared and 10 to the power of four? 10 squared is 100, 10 to the power of four is 10,000. So not that close. So there are big gaps. So this is not linear, it's an exponential. 
up here we'll have 100 million and 1,000 million and 10,000 million. So it's not linear. The difference between 1 and 10 is between 10 and 100,000 million. So it's like this. Most of our teams are down here. The big guys are up here, but even along here, if we zoom in, we would see this big gaps. So it's important to understand that. So this is what I found. The, the mean was 2.2 and the average, the mode, was 3. There were a couple who were 4 or 5. It was actually 4.6s. Nothing was actually 5 but it was in the high fours. So that's what I find, and obviously nothing here. But then I tried it again, and six of the values up here had dropped. So sometimes these can be, uh, this can change because Google spots there are a whole set of link farms, Russian bots which create links and they link everywhere and then they spot them and they get rid of them. Nothing you can do about this. This is kind of the web world. Um, but that's a fairly good idea of the PageRank community. So, who were those top ones when I checked recently? CardiffMorris.org and AbrahamMorrisDancers.org.uk. So they have these values. Um, how did they get there? I suspect they were set up many, many years ago. And so there are lots of pages to index them and link to them. So this is all about Google's view of the link structure. It's nothing to do with the quality of the website or whether it's up to date or whatever. Those are important. We're in the page ranks, we're just talking about links. So if those teams were to link to individual Morris sites, which have a lower page rank, that would help, that would boost up, up that. But why would they do that? Why would Card Cardiff Morris? link to another side. They might be the ones they're friendly with, but not to everyone. But the Morris Feds, the Morris Ring, and the Open Morris have higher values. And we can link, and indeed do, link to all, all the sides. So in the next talk, I'll be looking at how Morris Fed sides can exploit the benefits of this higher page rank. So. Um, but just before we move on to that talk, we need to think about what you want from your website. What is your goal? I suspect it's not just to have a high page rank because that's time consuming and expensive. What you want is to have the information on your website to be found. And having a high page rank is just a step in that. But I'll be talking about that in the next talk. So I apologize if you found that slightly techy, but thank you.